Yama, which means hello in my traditional language on my father's side, Gamilaroi. Hello, my name is Muriel Spiram. I'm a proud Gamilaroi woman on my father's side and a proud Kuma Murawari woman on my mother's side from northwest New South Wales. My name is Jared Veltry. I'm the artistic director of Functional Limited. Who Stole the Soul is a theatre performance about cyber safety, sexting, and bullying. So I've just come on board this week. So yeah, we're doing our first show on Tuesday morning at nine, and then we have the showing on Tuesday night by everyone. You sent me a picture of Tammy in her underwear. Ding! Yeah, she gave it to me. Ding! Now, lots of people see the picture of Tanya and is this correct? I think this show is important. It touches on a lot of different subjects. There's the sexual assault kind of thing, harassment, there's bullying. I guess the really special thing is coming out into these remote communities where, as I was saying before, where they don't often get the opportunity to see these things. Today we drove to Canamble High School. Well, we drove to Canamble to perform at the high school and we perform for the year 7, 8 and 9 and there are a couple of year 10s there as well. Get out, you go, you go. She plays a very important role uh, of, uh, of strength in the show. She's, she's kind of like the rock in the show, the strength that kind of brings through the, the good in the end. The acting was really mad. Um, it was fabulous. So it was nice to see that all the kids were captivated from the start. We've got lots of students who face the same problems and they come up on a regular basis. Definitely cyberbullying um, and violence. It's, yeah. uh, violence is a big issue in town, so it was nice to see that that was addressed. We have a lot of problems with Facebook and stuff like that out here, so it was really good to see, see it in context that you've presented it. Everyone has seen me in my underwear and there's nothing I can do about it. This is the worst day of my life. People's lives are affected uh, greatly by those. Yeah. For those things people, uh, young people take, even take their lives, depression, um, anxieties. We've just done a whole unit, 10 weeks on bullying and we're doing it in our wellbeing sessions of a morning in year groups so it's just adding on to what we're already yeah. doing. It's just it's so realistic and obviously you know they know exactly what's going on with people, kids lives and we really need to let kids know that you know there's other ways of doing stuff. I what I want as an, as an artist with Indigenous kids or you know just kids in general is to be able to spark that fire within. When I do see other Indigenous people in the audience as well, it definitely gives me a little, little nudge to give it a little bit more. Did you think that having um, an Indigenous actor in the cast um, made it, had an impact on the school community? I would say definitely in regards to this school. Um, we have a very high Indigenous population in town and particularly in the school itself, so I think it was very relevant. Yeah, yeah she did a fabulous job. I think out here, um, definitely, because, you know, we've, we've basically got Aboriginal and yeah. non-Aboriginal. In a town where we are, we're a little bit isolated, um, and uh, it's nice to sort of see that an Indigenous person is doing something a little bit outside the norm. Um, you know, I'm all about the empowerment of my people in a positive way to help break down the stereotypes that are projected in society. So, and the way that I do that is through, through my art, through my acting, through my dancing, through my singing. That's how I get the story across. None of, the, none of the issues are uh, specifically about Aboriginal people, but actually, you know, going around and, and um, with young people and having an Aboriginal person there, someone, um, yeah, well, that's just breaking down another ster another uh, stereotype and barrier in itself. Just actually, just having their having her there acting as well. I hope that. Who Stole the Soul is seen by every school in the country. That's a long-term dream. When I'm in the audience and I'm watching a fellow Indigenous person perform, it inspires me and it drives me and it gives me hope. <laughs> oh. 
Angwal Badele Ala Doko I'm Ale Ala Joganchi Ah, 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 ah. 